Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Creator Own Website. Today in this video I will show you how to get a free website hosting and install a WordPress website on it. It's very really easy, just watch this video to the end. But before we start this video, don't forget to visit our YouTube channel Creator Own Website. Subscribe, like this video and share it with your friend. Let's get started. Hello again my friend. So to get a free web hosting, we will use this platform called Infinity Free. You will find the link in the description just click on it and it will take you to this page the first thing we need to do is to create an account we click here register then insert your email address or your gmail for me i will use my professional email then choose a password confirm your password then check I have read and agreed to the terms of service then click sign up great we have created our account and now it's asking us to verify our email address so I will open my email address in my case I'm using a professional email like I said so this is the verification email address like we see and you will find this button just click on it verify email address and it will be done like we see so now we have create our account on infinity free and we have verify and confirm our account so this is our dashboard and like we see here my friend we can create three or free website okay so let's create the first website let's click here create account then it will get us to the plans like we see here or the prices we have here the free plan like we see we have five gigabyte on disk space and unlimited bandwidth and unlimited hosted domains okay and also we have some premium plans okay because infinity free is given us a free plan but she had also uh, some premium plan like we see here but it's very cheap okay so it's very very good in the premium plans we can get more options like uh, email account like premium C panel and more more options okay so let's choose here the free plan create now and here we will choose our address or subdomain we have here some extension we can choose anything we want okay let's choose for example dot free dot nf okay then let's choose for example create sorry like this and we will check if it is available good i think it's available like we see here so we have the account username is generated automatically the password you can just show it like this and copy the password to save it in your computer or in your block note or just change it okay like this we have email consent choose i approve like this then click create account uh, okay so i will just leave the letter and the numbers in the password okay create account and i think it's done okay we have created our first website successfully we can click here open control panel to get us to the uh, c panel i think i approve okay and this is our c panel like we see here my friend okay is a free cpanel or is uh, like a free version of cpanel okay we can come back here finish and also we have our control panel like this so let's click on the logo to come back to the home like we see now we have one website okay so we can create two more okay then we have this website that we have created right now if we click on it it will get us to the control panel to access to our C panel, we click here, control panel, and it's good. Okay. The first step now we will install WordPress. We will go here. Then we choose WordPress. So for this page, if it's not showing for you, uh, just wait a moment. Maybe uh, it will take a time to show. Okay. Because if there is a lot of person that creating account in same time in uh, infinity free maybe it will take some time to activate all uh, client account okay so just be patient good so in wordpress install and here choose https 
Then here you will find your domain name or your subdomain name. Great. In directory, leave it empty. Choose your WordPress site name, for example. Like this. You can choose also a short description for your website if you want. Don't touch anything. The uh, username, I will just choose admin. Then the password, I will hide it and insert this password. You can change your email address if you want. Then click advanced option. And please add something here in the database name, okay? Because uh, like I said, there is a lot of person that creating account uh, and uh, creating website in the same time. So uh, sometimes you can click here install and told you that this database name is already used. So just add something here, for example, a number like this and click on install. I think I have done everything. Install and like we see our website is under installing okay and is done okay you can click here in your uh, subdomain and we will see if the website is working great is not working and this is not a problem be because what we call uh, dns or name servers okay every time when we creating a new domain name or a new subdomain it will take some time to activate the dns what we call dns or name servers okay so like in our case we have create a new subdomain okay just right now and of course it will take some time to activate it and activate the dns and the name servers okay it will not take a lot of time might be 10 minutes half hour an hour okay it's different from time to time so just come back to your website sometime and refresh to see if your website working okay i will try to stop the video and continue when the website is available and the website is working okay my friend so see you in few minutes thank you Welcome back my friend. So like we see here, now we have the website activated. So you have just to wait some few minutes to have your website activated, okay? And you will have a WordPress website like this one. Is a default WordPress website or a simple WordPress website. So next step my friend, like I said, we have no SSL certificate installed on our free website. To install the SSL certificate, it's very really easy. You have just to back here. Then go to SSL certificate, free SSL certificate. Then click on new SSL certificate. Then add your domain name here. We will copy our website and paste it here. Of course, leave just your website domain or subdomain like this. Create order like we see here. Now click on this button, set up CNAME record. Great. Now come back to your dashboard. Click on your website like this. Then go to SSL certificate. Manage. Then here, like we see the statue is pending. Click on manage. Then you will find this button is active. If you found it not active, just refresh again the page or wait uh, some few minutes, okay? Then when you found it active like this, click on request certificate. And like we see, your certificate has been requested and should be available shortly. And like we see, okay? Now we have just to wait. And now we have create our SSL certificate successfully, like we see. Now we will back to account, always on our website, SSL certificate, manage, and now we have this button install. We click on it. I think it's done, okay? The SSL certificate has been installed. It may take up to 15 minutes for it to become active, okay? So we have just to wait some few minutes to activate the SSL certificate and you have just to visit your website from time to another to see if it's done or not yet. Okay, not yet. The installation is done and now the SSL live is not live for now. 
I will refresh and now live SSL statue is active like we see I will try to visit the website now like this and like we see now the website is secure and we have the SSL certificate activated in our website so this is the way how to install a WordPress website on a free web hosting using the infinity free hosting. I hope this video helped you. Don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel and like this video and share it with your friend. See you next time and thank you.